Hello, once again, grade 11 students. Here's a really quick video for you, just to show you an example of some ways that you can extend the functionality of your games for your own challenge project-based learning assignment. You're gonna have a good amount of time to work on this, so don't worry if this looks intimidating for what you can aim for. Plot through this simple project together, well, simple in a general sense. Some of the things in here are a little bit trickier than what we've seen so far. This project was inspired by the fact that I have a newborn and that that newborn is kind of eating a lot of my time up and getting in the way of some of my favorite activities, like eating. And so it might seem a little bit weird, but it had some kind of, a, I guess, a strange inspiration point. You notice I have a nice border around my health bar at the top, score in the middle, maybe I could make that transparent to be a little bit nicer. But I'll talk you through some of the different elements I've added in here that you could try and mimic, or just use as inspiration for some of your own additions. When my game starts, I have my enemy randomly spawning in the world and moving around. These pizzas are objects that I can eat that are going to give me a little bit of a boost to my maximum total speed. Now what just happened here, I need to improve the functionality. A baby just spawned on my ship and did damage right away. But notice this here. If I get close to a baby, it actually tries to follow me. Everything else is random, but once I get in a certain range, it tries to follow. Each pizza that I eat up updates my score by two. I shoot turtles. Why? I don't know exactly why. This, this image that I had here. And I'll show you some of the functionality of this is that as I shoot, the shooting slows down. It requires that I actually take a little bit of a pause to kind of reset a timer for my shooting. So when I die, a little skull appears and the game restarts. Notice that my ship also turns kind of transparent the more time has gone by to show that I really need to pause and recover some energy. I also have a bomb that when it a certain amount of time goes by, the bomb explodes, releasing more projectiles as a kind of specialized weapon that I invented. And so yeah, the enemies spawn in random locations. They can track the movement of my player when he's in certain spots. I have a different, some different customized weapons with different functionality. Lots of things can be improved on in this, of course, but it is a general template of some ways you could extend the functionality of a game with some kind of different ideas. Still implementing the basics, a controlled ship, enemies that interact with you and that you can interact with with weapons, customization of options, user interface things that display information to the user. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with in your own implementations. Get to it.